What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 here with another video. This time it's the new SEMA X54HW. Let's give it a test. Okay, so the SEMA has had a radical change with this particular model. It does look very nice and uh, much more modern and aerodynamic. These landing gears attach when you buy them, you just kind of snap them in place. Very easy to put together. It has headless mode, a HD camera, 6 axis gyro and the good thing about it apart from looking cool is it has a new altitude hold option on here as well very nice quick look at the controller nothing much has changed here you got your flight controls 360 flip button here your rates button low and high high rates camera switch here LCD um, trim buttons on and off switch nothing else has changed now to prepare for the flight put your battery in obviously turn the quad on set the lights here are flashing put it on a fairly level surface then you just pretty much turn on the controller up and down you hear that nice strong beep and it is bound ready to rock and roll now being a six axis uh, gyro on this particular quadcopter you can also just kind of throw it in the air and like that you can see that it's pretty stable and does fly very nice now this is on the standard uh, flight mode here standard rate if I flick this switch here give a bit more aggressive and a bit quicker which is very nice it does fly very well and it's quoted to fly for six minutes Okay, so as this steamer drone has a camera on there, it's also capable of FPV through the SEMA app, which is available for Android or iOS. And you just click start, make sure the drone is on, and Wi-Fi is connected to the camera, and there you go. So once it's all connected, I can click the, this little camera button here, it will start recording. Once I'm bound, I can start to uh, fly. And there we go. So it does do flips, I do a demonstration, you just click this button here. There we go. I'm not a big fan of uh, flips, so that's probably all you'll see from me, but uh, it does fly quite nicely. I'll put it in the expert mode or the quicker mode there. It's handling the wind pretty good. It's uh, not very strong by any means but you wouldn't want to fly it in the lowest rate otherwise it might not come back and there's me that's fly very nice and it's a very good drone for a big be for a beginner that's for sure can also take a picture up here through the controller like that but I'll just for the rest of this flight I'll just fly around and when it does the low voltage warning the props will start to s slow down and it will land One thing I notice is very quiet too. Let's have a look at the range, how high it can go. It's getting a little bit breezier now. Fighting the wind a little bit, even in the higher rates. I don't want to go too high, I get blown away into the suburbs. Estimated flight time around six minutes. And I'm on full 
fully down there we can see it's descending quite slowly nothing too drastic does have headless mode but I'm not a big fan of that I believe you should you know kind of learn without using headless mode now the altitude hold would work pretty much in a no wind environment where it doesn't have gets buffeted too much you can see there it's altitude hold it works fairly well but you know as you can see, I'm, hold, I'm not holding it there. As you can see, it's kind of fluctuating up and down. But, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, at least it does have something like that. But it's not very, uh, I would call, accurate at all. Uh, oh, there you go. Now I've left the video recording to see how it looks and you can tell that it's recording there's a little flashing light on the camera that indicates that it is recording but as you can see there I'm moving forward and it's trying to keep it a constant uh, altitude there as you can see it just picked up a little bit there I didn't do that, it done it by itself and if I can let it hover it'll try and lift itself up like that I don't know if you can see it on the camera but I'm not doing anything and you can see it slowly comes back to me but that was the battery guys I'm pretty sure pretty easy it'll just kind of get a little bit docile and slowly drop down and there'll be little to no power left in the props but that's pretty much it simple nice little flyer does a job um, yeah it's good to learn on that's for sure so guys I hope you like that footage of the SEMA X54HW it's a great uh, drone to learn on it's got altitude hold six uh, gyros to keep it very stable in flight it does handle pretty calm winds but nothing too drastic but it's great to learn on and you know you wouldn't be disappointed especially for the great price that these are at if you do like this go check out i'll leave the link in the description i got this one from crazy hobbies like all my rc gear happy days steve here from rc tanks and trucks 24 7 see you next time